hospital. Hi guys, back with another update about my treatment. So as you know, I've been having chemotherapy and I'd had uh, four cycles of chemotherapy over an eight week period. And um, just before the end of that eight weeks, I went for an MRI scan and I had some news that wasn't what I'd hoped for. So basically the chemotherapy did not have the desired effect it hadn't shrunken the tumor now at the start i was informed by the doctor that it has a 70 percent um, success rate so obviously i'm one of the 30 percent um, and it hasn't been successful in um, so i did some thinking um, i went and consulted with a doctor and i said that i didn't to continue with the chemotherapy now the sort of downside to this is that I went through sort of eight or nine weeks of not feeling great um, to actually kind of be back at square one but that's sometimes the way it is with chemotherapy it's not an exact science um, based on the data as I say 70% it does work but there is 30% 25 to 30% of people that it doesn't work for However, I was fairly lucky, I think, uh, when I was having my chemotherapy, I didn't get side effects that were too bad. I lost my appetite, I was a bit nauseic, I had some mouth sores and things like that. But, I, you know, there's people who are much, much worse um, with the side effects than I was. And I really must say, um, being on that chemotherapy for those eight weeks was not fun. And I have massive, massive respect for people who endure that for, for much longer or have much worse side effects than I do. It's something that I really hope I don't have to um, do again. Anyway, moving forward, um, I went and consulted with my uh, doctor, the oncologist, and I sort of said that I don't wish to continue with the chemotherapy. Initially, I was going to have six cycles over a 12-week period. So I actually stopped at eight weeks. And um, so I went back to see the um, breast clinic, the consultant in the breast clinic. And I sort of says, I want to go for the surgery option. Now, as I said at the beginning, that was a more complex option because the um, amount of area they have to remove was quite large and there wasn't enough skin to cover it. But we've got a plastic surgeon involved and what we will do, we will actually graft some skin from either below um, my breast or from my back to cover the area where the uh, tumour is removed from. So today is the 9th of November and I came into the hospital yesterday. And uh, so yesterday I had some tests, um, I had some um, blood tests taken, had um, an ultrasound scan, I went to see the, had a consultation with the surgeon and they sort of confirmed everything, explained everything to me what would happen. And then today I had another ultrasound scan uh, on my heart this time and I again went to visit the surgeon and they just explained everything to me. So what they will do in the surgery, they will remove the tumour along with the um, breast tissue and the skin and then they will um, take some skin from either here under my breast or on my back and um, stitch that into the area what they remove. Also what they're going to do at the same time they will take a biopsy from the lymph node and this is a biopsy that will go off to the lab while I'm in surgery and if that comes back um, negative then no problem they will continue with this and, and finish me up um, however if it comes back as that it is positive and it's malignant they will also remove the uh, lymph node at the same time um, so that's that's how it's all been explained to me i've signed off all my consent forms and tomorrow morning on the 10th of uh, November 
I will be going into surgery so that just explains it and I will come back to you um, you'll see me next I guess as I come out of surgery how do you feel? so mm. sad, just tired okay so it's the 12th um, I went and had my surgery on the 10th and I was in there about seven hours um, and according to the surgeon it all went well um, they, they removed the mass and they did a skin graft um, got lots of stitches and uh, they also found some cells in the um, lymph node so they also dissected the lymph node um, I came out of surgery the pain is less than what I expected. They gave me a device where I could um, administer my own pain relief, but I've been having painkillers each day um, for the last or since the surgery. It's the third, second day after the surgery. Yeah, so I had the surgery on the Wednesday. It's now Friday, um, but it's not been as painful as I thought it would be, which is is a good thing. Um, it's a little bit uncomfortable because I normally sleep on my front and I can't sleep on my front, I can only sleep on my back so um, I'm, I'm coping with that um, but other than that I'm, I'm not too bad and I'll, uh, I'll give you all another update when I leave the hospital in maybe a couple of weeks time but as always, for now, take care mm -hmm.